Hi, welcome to MNZ Tech Fit. Today we'll be going through a Canva tutorial to design eye-catching, engaging thumbnails. So if you have not subscribed to us yet, because it's your first time, please subscribe to us, like this video and share it out for us. So that will help us in the algorithm. Thank you so much. Let's get on with it. As you can see from the home page, this is the home page of, of Canva. You will first need to create an account with Canva. I will do a video on how to create an account, but first let's get to the designing. You can have two different types of accounts. You can have a free version and you can have the paid version. This is called the Pro, the Canva Pro. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be using the free the free version. So, let's get on with it. This is the home page as you can see, you have your different section in the menu. You have your home, which is already displayed here. You have different templates. If you want to click on that and choose from a number of them templates, sorry, it's not only for tutorial for YouTube tutorials, but today we're going to be doing a thumbnail for a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Let's get on. So then you have your features here your different features that can be added. You have your learn, so you have your tutorial section, wherein if you're new to Canva and you wanna learn, this way you can use your different tutorials here as well. You also do have pricing, where you have the free version, as you can see here, you have your pro, which is the paid version, the enterprise, your education, and your non-profit accounts. So today we're just going to be designing a YouTube thumbnail because you know these are very important. You can do it two ways. You can click on create a design and then you can just click on whatever section you want from here. Yeah, but that will take us a very long time. So what I will be doing, I'll be typing in the search bar because it's very useful. All you need to do is type in YouTube and it will come up with a list of different things you can do with um, Canva. So you can design your channel art. So I probably will be doing a video on that. You can do a display ad. You can a YouTube icon. You can do a thumbnail. You can do an ad and much, much more. But today we're going to be concentrating on our thumbnails. So I'm just going to click on that. And it will be loading. Give it some time. When it has taken us to this window. <laughs> Sorry. It took us to, it will take us to a new window. This window will have a display of different templates that can be used. So as you can see, whatever you're into, there is possibly a thumbnail for that. So you have your tech side of it your workout, sorry, side of it. And that's that there, which I'm into, as you know, if you follow us and you have different types of workout, you also have your classroom. If you're into teaching, you have your workspace. If you're into talking about stuff from work. So you have a number of different thumbnails here. And as you can see, almost a thumbnail for everything. Let's get on with it. So I'm going to choose a thumbnail. I'm going to choose this one. Once you click on a thumbnail, because you've decided and you've chosen a thumbnail, it will take you to another window. And in this design window, you'll be able to design a thumbnail. We have chosen our template already. But if we change our minds, we can also just switch it up and choose another thumbnail. 
and they still have a lot more from here where you can see just here as you can see oh keep it in, as you can see you have your templates and this these are what are displayed here you have your different elements that you can add to your design yeah a number of different elements some are free and some are paid so you can have a look at it once you click into it it will show you the ones that are free like so so you see that those ones are free if I click on all graphics because I wanted to use some graphics it will show you the different types of graphics and as you can see on here as well I keep on saying these words repeatedly sorry um, the pro those are the paid one and it tells you the price as well as you just hoover the mouse over it there you can click on there and you can click on there and once you click on a pro it just gives you the price in the price range of it there you go you design of course coronavirus for those of you who are doing videos about that you want to do videos about trending stuff so coronavirus will well it is trending and probably will be trending for a while you have your uploads uploads or images you can actually upload from your device whether it be your laptop or your mobile phones those are just the simple ones that i have already uploaded you have your text here so you can add text you have the different type of text you have your main heading your subheading and then you have a little bit more of a uh, another section where you can add another heading and as you can see, you have different colors, different word colors. So let's start designing. We have our background as well that we can change up. We'll do that in a bit. You'll see what our background looks like. So this is the image there. I want to change this image. So I'm just going to click on it. And I'm going to just delete it. I don't want that image. I'm going to go to my uploads. And then on my uploads, I'm going to choose this lady here because that's what I'm about. The thumbnail I'm designing is going to be about mobile phones. So my image is appropriate to my topic. And this, these are some of the things you will want to consider when you're designing your th thumbnails. I'm not going to use that um, title there. I'm just going to delete it and I'm not going to leave this one. I'm going to delete it as well. I'm just going to carry this up. We're going to stretch it out a bit. I'm going to go into it. Just delete the words that are there. And then I'm going to write tech friendly. Ooh, spelled that wrong. Okay, so this is an awesome feature as well. It does help you to spell if you can't spell. Please ensure that you spell check your thumbnails before you upload them. So click on friendly and it will actually bring up the correct spelling of the word. I'm going to just change the letter there so tech friendly devices cool and then i'm just gonna click out of it one thing i don't like about this feature um is that when you're trying to move that you have to click out of it sometimes or it just goes all over the place i really don't like that um so we click on there i'm gonna delete this because i do not want it and I'm just going to add an element to this. I love to add my different elements. We don't want to use the paid one, do we? No, because no, we just don't want to. I'm going to add this one because it's free. Just going to put it over here. See, that's what I'm talking about. I have to click out of it again. I'm going to just delete that bit because I'm not going to use it. 
actually what I want to do I'm just gonna click out of that again but just waste a bit of time and then I'm gonna bring this down here I'm gonna put MZ tech fit up here for you but sometimes not sometimes majority of the elements when you click on it especially these type it doesn't come with text so what you want to do you want to click on text then I'm gonna do a little subheading and, and then I'm going to bring it right up to my shaded area there. And then I'm just going to write MNC Tech Fit in there. you see me and then I have my name on there he can also just resize it if you wish I want to resize it so I'm just resizing this one I'm just gonna bring it up there and then I'm just gonna add another heading but I do want to change up my color just to make it look a bit more um, diverse with colors so i'm gonna click on my dream there i'm gonna resize it and then i'm gonna bring it down and then i'm gonna just change the text on there so i'm gonna delete it and i'm gonna do mobiles yeah and the thing is, you can always change the size of your text. As you see up there, change the size of your text. Cool. So that it fits right there. I'm going to write mobile devices. Yeah, just to fill out that space. So mobile devices. Cool, 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 cool. And as you can see, that's a beautiful 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 thumbnail another trick I love to use as well you can change filters to just get the varied um, color tone that you want so you, you can use that one and you can change it up just make it a bit brighter I like that one I'm gonna use festive I'm in a festive mood and that will be my thumbnail all designed and ready so what I will do now is that I'll just click on the download button. Once I click on that, you just click on download the purple download button and that will take you to that, sorry, <laughs> that will download it to any device. Um, actually to this device, not any device, to this device because this is the device that you're working on. If you design it on your mobile or your cell phones, you can use, it will download to that actual device. So we click on download and there it is. It's all in a nice zipped folder for us. And then, then we're done. Voila. Please like and subscribe to us. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know what Canva tutorial you would want us to want to see us do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Subscribe to us, like, share us out. Thank you so much.